wale wote walio shiriki ili kuinua nchi yetu kwa maombi nimefika hapa leo watu wa Moranga pia nipate nafasi ya kuwashukuru watu wa Moranga nikiwashukuru watu wa Kenya na washukuru zaidi kwa sababu tulikuja hapa na ndugu zangu hawa tukawaomba kura zenu tukawaomba mkubali tushirikiane pamoja na nyinyi mkawa ni watu wa imani na mkatuamini na ndio Mungu akatubarikia tukaunda serikali pamoja mimi nimesimama mbele yenu leo kusema asante sana <clears throat> narudia tena kusema asante sana na tunamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya yale Mungu amewawezesha mufanye watu wa kutoka Moranga na sehemu hii ya Mlima Kenya mumeweka nchi yetu katika kiwango mpya mumevunja rekodi kwa kupiga kura na kuvunja ngome ya ukabila katika taifa letu la Kenya hiyo rekodi mpya ambayo mumetusaidia kama wananchi wa Kenya tukatengeneza rekodi ya kwamba siasa ya Kenya haitajengwa tena kwa msingi wa ukabila ama chuki ama migawanyiko kwamba Kenya itajengwa kwa sera ambayo itaunganisha wa Kenya na kupanga vile Kenya yetu itanawiri tukienda mbele mimi nataka niwashukuru sana you have made our country proud through this vote on the 9th of August the people of Kenya led by the people of Mount Kenya broke the yoke of ethnicity from our politics that Kenya shall go forward as a nation built on the foundation of unity and built on the foundation of all the people of Kenya united to focus on the development of our country without the barriers that have existed in the past of ethnicity of ethnicity and other considerations na ndio mimi nataka niwashukuru sana kwa sababu ya kuweka rekodi hiyo mpya jambo la pili nataka pia niwashukuru wa Kenya wote sisi wote kama wa Kenya waliopiga kura pande zote sote tumeweka pia rekodi mpya ya kwamba tunaweza kufanya siasa zetu kama taifa la Kenya kwa amani tunaweza kupiga kura tukamaliza kupiga kura tukarudi mashambani tukarudi kwenye biashara zetu tukangojea uh, maamuzi ya uchaguzi kwa heshima kwa amani mimi nataka niwapongeze wa Kenya wote na mimi niwashukuru wa Kenya wote ya kwamba tumeweka siasa yetu kiwango mpya na rekodi mpya ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunaweza kufanya uchaguzi kwa njia ya amani na mimi nataka niwahakikishie hiyo rekodi mpya ambayo tumeweka ya kuondoa ukabila na pia ya kuweka amani mimi kama rais nitahakikisha hiyo msingi tunajenga juu yake tukienda mbele mataifa la Kenya jambo la tatu mimi pia nataka niwashukuru sana kwamba wakati tuliongea na nyinyi kuna mambo mengi tulikubaliana tulikubaliana ya kwamba tutajenga uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya na tutajenga uchumi kupitia mpango ambayo haitawaacha wa Kenya wengine nyuma tutashughulika hasa na wale walio chini ndio tuweze kuinua kila mtu na hiyo mpango sasa tumeanzisha rasmi nataka niwashukuru kwa kunipatia hawa viongozi wenu huyu mama Alice Wahome 
Asanteni sana huyu njoguna Profesa Njoguna Ndungu kutoka hapa. Hawa watakuwa katika baraza langu la mawaziri. Mimi nataka mjue najua mmewapigia makofi sana kwamba wanatoka na huku kwenu. Lakini mimi nataka niwapatie habari. Hawa hawatafanya kazi kijiji. Hawa watafanya kazi Kenya mzima. Tunaelewana? Mimi nawashukuru sana kwa kunipatia hawa wafanyikazi tuweze kufanya kazi na wao kazi ya Kenya mzima. Na mimi nataka niwahakikishie wale wa Kenya wote ya kwamba serikali ambayo Mungu ametujalia tukaunda. Na mimi nataka niwaombe wote ya kwamba hata na sisi tutahakikisha ya kwamba tutaweka rekodi mpya ya kuhakikisha kwamba serikali yetu inashughulika na maendeleo ya wakenya wote bila ya kujali sehemu na mamirengo ya kisiasa that is the new government we are going to build because god has been gracious enough to allow us to move our politics to the new level where we have reduced ethnicity and the people of Kenya have made us proud that we have a government that we have built on the foundation of peace. We will also strive as a government to work for the people of Kenya in their entirety without measure of what they believe in, who they voted for, or whatever region they come from. We want to elevate our country to the new level. And I want to commit to you, as I do to the people of Kenya, that that is the new dispensation that we are going to move our nation. Nataka pia niseme ya kwamba yale mipango tulikubaliana na nyinyi. Mumesikia ya kwamba tayari tumepanga ile mpango ya Hustler Fund. Ambayo tunayanzisha December tarehe moja. Na hata kabla ya Desemba tarehe moja, tumezungumza na wale wote ambao walikuwa wanashiriki na kupatia wa Kenya e, mikopo. Wale wote karibu watu milioni tano ambao walikuwa wamezamishwa na fuliza. Simu yao ikafungwa. Wakakuwa blacklisted. Tumekubaliana ya kwamba hawa watu wote milioni tano watatolewa katika hiyo mambo ya kuwa blacklisted na mnaweza kurudi kwa simu yenu ya kawaida. Hakuna haja tena ya kumwambia mtu hii simu iko na shida, wewe piga na ile ingine. Tunaelewana? Mtaanza kuiona hivi karibuni hiyo mambo ya fuliza tumezungumza na wao na pia tumewaeleza na wamekubali wapunguze riba ama ile interest wanalipisha wale wanakopa pesa katika hiyo platform ya fuliza by 50% ndio tuanze kuchangia katika kuboresha taifa letu la Kenya mimi nataka niwahakikishie kwamba ile platform tunaleta ya Hustler Fund itakuwa na mambo matatu ya muhimu ya kwanza itakupatia mkopo kwa riba ya chini less than 10% per year number 2 itakupatia nafasi ya kufanya saving wakati unafanya biashara pia unaweka akiba na jambo la tatu ukiweka akiba serikali ya Kenya ukiweka shilingi mbili serikali ya Kenya inakupatia shilingi moja wale ambao wanafanya biashara hiyo hasa wale ambao hawana ajira that is what we are going to do kwa sababu tunataka kujenga taifa ambayo tunapanga leo na pia tunapanga kesho na tunapanga siku za usoni hatutaki kupanga Kenya ambayo inakuwa haina mpango ya kesho vile vile tumesha keti chini kwa ile mpango tulikuwa nayo ya savings ama ya akiba ya national social security fund tumeongea na wale wote ambao walikuwa wametupeleka kotini Tumezungumza na watu wa Kotu, tumezungumza na watu wa Federation of Kenya Employers, tumezungumza na wale wengine wote, 
tumeketi chini na wamekubali ya kwamba tuondoe mambo ya makesi kotini kwa sababu mambo ya saving ni ya muhimu katika taifa letu la Kenya we are now going to publish new regulations in the next uh, few weeks baada ya wiki mbili tatu hivi tutakuwa na regulations mpya na tutaanza culture ya saving kwa sababu neno la Mungu linatufundisha kwa medhali ya kwamba mtu mwema medhali ukisoma medhali 13 na, na mstari wa 22 neno la Mungu linasema mtu mwema uachia watoto wake akiba lakini sisi kwa Kenya ya leo watoto wetu hawatakuwa na akiba wataridhi deni sasa kama inasemekana mtu mwema anawaachia mtoto wake urithi na ule anawaachia mtoto wake madeni we plan for today but we also plan for the future nataka vile vile niwaambie ndugu zetu kama eh, vile tulivyo hapa hiyo mpango ya maji mnajua ya kwamba tuko na hali mbaya sana ya kiangazi na hii haita it will not improve it will get worse with the time because of climate change unless we do certain things na ndio hivyo mumesikia tumesema kama serikali tunataka tuungane na wananchi wote wa Kenya tupande miti bilioni tano kwa miaka mitano ijayo kwa hivyo kila mmoja wetu na county government national government all other agencies the private sector na wafanyabiashara wengine wote sote tutaungana both from the public and the private tuweze kuchangia kupanda miti ndio mito yetu isikauke na tuanze kupata mvua tena mimi nataka niwaulize zile kazi ambazo tulikuwa tunatafuta kama ile kazi ya eh, eh, kazi mtaani sasa itakuwa kazi ya mazingira wale wa, vijana wote tutakuwa tuna, tulikuwa tunaajiri kwa kazi mtaani sasa tutawaajiri wapande miti tuhakikishe ya kwamba tuko na miti ya kutosha tumekubaliana ya kwamba CDF tutabadilisha sheria kidogo ndio tuongeze pesa ambayo itatumika kwa CDF ile ambayo inasaidia na wabunge waweze kupatia vile vikundi ya kina mama vikundi ya vijana waweze kuzalisha miche ya miti ndio tuweze kusaidia na kuchangia katika kubadilisha mazingira katika taifa letu la Kenya because unless we change our environment climate change is a reality that we must live with kwa hivyo tunataka tupande miti na mimi nimesema ya kwamba kila sehemu ya Kenya ili tuhakikishe ya kwamba tunabadilisha mazingira tuendelee kuwa na maji ndio huyu mama Alice aweze kutusaidia na dams na nimeshapatia yeye instructions tunajenga dams ya kwanza mia moja tulikuwa tumepanga kama serikali ile ilitangulia mimi na uhuru kenyata tulikuwa tumepanga dams hamsini na saba atukufaulu sana kwa sababu kuna makelele ilikuja kutokana na mtu fulani sitaki kusema sana so tukajenga karibu tano out of 57 so kwa sababu tumepoteza muda kidogo lazima tuharakishe so nimemwambia huyu mama eh, wa home ya kwamba the minimum mega dams we are going to build is 100 na tayari tumetengeneza through the private sector a private public uh, instrument that is going to support our dam building effort and our water harvesting um, program so that we can have water for domestic use we can have water for our livestock and we can have water for irrigation for our farms 
Kwa hivyo tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi na wananchi muwe macho ndio tuweze kutembea hiyo safari e, pamoja. Hapa kwenu Moranga tumesema tunaanza hapa Maragwa tuko na damu inaitwa Maragwa 4. Ile maneno tulikubaliana ni kwamba tutapatia tu nafasi kidogo tupange kwa sababu barabara zetu zote zimekwama kwa sababu ya matatizo ya fedha kwa hivyo msikwe na wasiwasi sasa tumepata mawaziri wetu tutapatia tu nafasi kidogo tupange maneno tutarudisha hawa contractors wote warudi wamalize hizo barabara ndio tuweze kupanga zile zitakazofuata na vile vile wiki ijayo mlinisikia nikisema hapa ya kwamba lazima pia tupange ajira ya hawa vijana si ni kweli na tulisema njia ya kupanga ajira ya hawa vijana pia ni kupanga mpango wa affordable housing kwa sababu pale kwa affordable housing tuko na nafasi ya ajira ya vijana wetu wiki ijayo ambayo inaanza kesho Monday wiki ijayo program hiyo mumeona nilianzisha kule Nairobi wiki ijayo tunatangaza nyumba za kwanza elfu mbili hapa Moranga hapa Kenol Town tunataka kuanza na nyumba mia tatu pale Makenji tunataka kuwa, eh, kuwa na nyumba elfu moja na mia saba Alafu nimemwambia huyu kangata wa barua kabla hajaniandikia barua <laughs> kwanza <laughs> aende apange mahali tutapata mahali ya kujenga nyumba pale Kangema tunataka hapa Kenol hiyo eh, ardhi haitoshi tunataka kabati tunataka tunataka pale Gatonyo tunataka Kangema tunataka keriaini hiyo hiyo towns yote kubwa kubwa tunataka tuhakikishe ya kwamba eh, tunajenga manyumba at least 2000 in every lo locality kwa sababu nikiruka kwa ndege naona sehemu nyingi ambayo imekuwa ni mashamba ya kuzalisha chakula inakuwa nchi kukaa na njaa zaidi if we continue using our agricultural land for settlement we will continue to have challenges of food production and therefore our housing our uh, affordable housing plan is also meant to save our agricultural land from subdivision and from settlement so tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi namna hiyo ili tuhakikishe kwamba Kenya hii inasonga mbele yale mambo mengine tutawaeleza wakati tunaanza eh, kufungua mambo ambayo ama mpango wetu nataka nihakikishie wakulima wetu ya kwamba partnership kati yenu na serikali ya Kenya hiyo mmesikia mambo ya fertilizer juzi deputy president kama chairman wa IBEC ameketi chini na governors sisi tutalete mbolea mpaka ifike kwa debo ya cereal. Kutoka depo ya cereal iende huko mashinani county government. Wafanye hiyo kazi. Ndio ikuwe rahisi. Government watusaidie stores kidogo. Kidogo huko ndio wakulima wasikujie mbolea kilomita nyingi. Mbolea ipatikane hapo kwa wodi yako ili uelewa na hiyo biashara ama ifanyike vile eh, county government watapanga ile mheshimiwa ndindi nyoro amesema ya kwamba hata ipeleke mpaka kwa factory mahali farmer groups wako pale watachipanga na hiyo mbolea ndio wale matapeli wasikuja hapa katikati wakaanza tena kufanya biashara na ile mbolea tumelete ambayo inafaa kuwafaidi wananchi na wakulima vile vile ama ya mwisho mimi nataka muelewe ya kwamba tutashirikiana pamoja. Nimefurahi leo kufika hapa Keno.
Yes. Ndiyo mujue shetani yako na kiburi. Eh? Eh? Huyo shetani alikuwa amemea pembe sana hapa Kenya. So lakini mimi nimefurahi ya kwamba leo tumekuja hapa Kenol wale ambao wali e, fanya hiyo maneno na vile rigadi amesema si ukweli mimi actually i am the one mimi ndio ningewaomba msamaha kwa sababu hiyo serikali ilikuwa mimi na uhuru ndio tulitengeneza si ndio lakini tukapata wafanyikazi wengine wa kiburi na madharao na wajinga ndio wakakuja wakapiga tear gas kanisa unaona ile hasara tumepata so kwa kanisa poleni sana mimi naomba msamaha kwa sababu sisi ndio tulitengeneza hiyo serikali lakini wale walifanya hiyo mambo ya aibu Mungu amewashusha na Mungu amewanyenyekeza na saa hizi wanajuta mahali walipo ili wajue ya kwamba kuna Mungu mbinguni na hakuna nafasi vile deputy president amesema hakuna nafasi tena itafanyika katika taifa letu la Kenya ya kwamba tear gas itatupwa kanisani haiwezi kufanyika tena we want to assure the church we want to assure religious leaders we want to assure every kenyan that places of worship are sacred and no government will go and interfere in places of worship not my administration we will make sure that we have respect for places of worship and we have respect for our spiritual leaders we are going to work together because this is God's nation. Hii ni nchi ya Mungu na tunamheshimu Mungu kiasi hiyo. Ya mwisho. Mimi nimesema yale tutafanya sisi wote. Mimi nataka niwaombe tafadhali. Vile askofu alivyosema Reverend Jesse. Mukubali sisi wote tulipe ushuru. Tumezungumza na Kenya Revenue Authority na wao wamekubali ya kwamba ile mambo ya zamani watawachana naye sasa wamekuwa watu wangwana na wakiwa wangwana hata na nyinyi mkwe wangwana ndio sisi wote tuweze kujenga taifa hii taifa haiwezi kujengwa bila ya resources ambayo itakusanywa na serikali ya Kenya mlisikia rais wetu watatu mheshimiwa Mwai Kibaki alitufundisha ya kwamba kulipa ushuru ni kujitegemea na mwai kibaki alitufundisha ya kwamba inawezekana wakati alichukua usukani tulikuwa tunakusanya 250 billion in his 10 years aliondoka tukikusanya 1 trillion ali ongeza mapato ya serikali four times in his term kumaanisha ya kwamba there is always scope ya kuongeza mapato ya serikali and that is how we have grown this nation mimi nawauliza kwa sababu KRA wamekuwa wangwana sasa hata na sisi tuwe wangwana kila mtu alipe ile inatoshana na yeye tumekubaliana ya kwamba kama mama mboga analipa hamsini kila siku na wale wengine si walipe pia ama namna gani Eh, kila mtu sasa alipe ushuru tunaomba kila mtu alipe ushuru kwa sababu it is biblical kulipa ushuru ni kutimiza mambo ya biblia hata Yesu alisema ya kaisari mpatie kaisari ukisoma matayo 22 mstari wa na moja Yesu anasema ya kaisari mpatie kaisari ya KRA pati ya KRA please ndio tuweze kusukuma hii mambo yote ndio tuweze kuwa na maji tutengeneze barabara watoto wetu tusomeshe tuwe na madawa hospitalini kwa sababu hiyo ndio njia ya kupeleka taifa letu mbele tumekubaliana tutalipa ushuru sisi wote eh kabisa 
tunataka tuendelee namna hiyo hasa wale wadosi wadosi walipe kwanza unajua wadosi ndio wako na kichwa ngumu kidogo wanakwama kwama kulipa wale raia wa chini hawana shida wanalipa mambo yao haraka haraka so sisi ambao wale watu wadosi wadosi please na wauliza tulipe ushuru so that we can build uh, a united uh, nation na hiyo ndio itatusaidia pia tusikwame kwenye madeni Mnajua saa hizi tuko na deni kiasi kubwa. Na dawa ya deni ni kulipa ushuru. Hiyo ndio bila tutamaliza mambo ya madeni. Sisi tutapunguza kukopa kama serikali lakini pia lazima tuongeze mapato ya ushuru kutoka wananchi wetu wa Kenya. Mimi sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo. Maaskofu wote tumeshukuru sana kwa kutuombea. We give you our assurance that we will be responsible we will also work hard and work smart so that we can take our country uh, to the next level again to the great people of uh, moranga i want to say my profound gratitude to you for standing with us for doing it peacefully and for doing it in a manner that gives us a new record as a country nawashukuru sana mujue tunawapenda tunawatakia heri tunawatakia baraka ya Mungu na sisi tutatembea pamoja na nyinyi asanteni mwadhani ya muradhime